Hi there. Welcome to the Small Business Coffee Break, the series where we take a few minutes to work on your business, not just in it. Today we're talking with Zachariah Evangelista, partner at CERN Associates PLLC, about how being prepared for a business divorce can save you time and money. Zach has over 10 years of experience helping small businesses build better foundations and protections to help them grow. So grab a cup of coffee and let's get into it. One of the areas that we focus the most on when we're dealing with um, business owners and you know coming to agreements, and again, the best time for that is at the beginning of the business, but at any point in the business life cycle, if you don't have a written agreement, that's a great time to sit down with your partners and say, let's, let's put this down on paper. And one area that I end up spending on most operating agreements, most of my time is the transfer section. So can you sell your ownership to somebody else? Do the other owners get the first right of refusal? What happens if one owner wants to get out? What happens when one owner dies? What happens when two of the three want to sell to you know, the bigger, the bigger fish right. and cash out. You know, what happens when two of them want to sell and they don't want a, the third one to sell? You know, I mean, there's all these different um, variations. And if you lay that all out um, and you try to think through the different possibilities, you can avoid a lot of headache, including what happens when we no longer agree. So you would handle that in the operating agreement and also handle, like in any contract, dispute resolution. Do you have required mediation? Do you do litigation or do you do arbitration? What, what law? Who pays for the attorneys? Do you each pay for your own attorney? Does the winner pay for the um, does the winner get the attorney's fees back from the non-prevailing party? I won't call them the loser necessarily, because <laughs> in litigation, like I said, everybody loses right, except no, the attorneys. There's no winners, there's no losers <laughs> except for the attorney. Let's keep the conversation going. If you have any questions for Zach, ask him in the comments, or his contact information is in the description. If you have any questions you'd like me to ask Zach or any other professional in their field, my contact information is also in the description and I'm always available via direct message. See you next week for another cup of coffee and more questions answered.